Hello. It was a fairly typical February this year, with cold spells and settled dry weather through most of the first two weeks of the month. This broke down rapidly on the 13th, heralding milder but more unsettled conditions through the rest of the month. The month also saw some significant snowfalls across the mountains, especially in Scotland. Spells of sunshine through February mean that provisionally it has been the sunniest winter in our records for the UK back to 1929. The white areas here show that the daily maximum temperature for February was very typical and only 0.1 degrees below the 1981-2010 to average. The highest recorded temperature this month was 15.6 degrees at Fivey Castle, Aberdeenshire on the 18th. The daily minimum temperature was also typical for the time of year and 0.2 degrees below average. Although parts of northern Scotland and the Shetland Islands were warmer, parts of Northern Ireland and southwest England and Wales were colder than their respective averages. The lowest recorded temperature this month was minus 10.9 degrees at Bucastle, Cumbria on the 3rd. With 79.2 millimetres of rain, it's been a relatively dry February, with 89% of average for the UK overall. It was especially dry in North East England and Eastern Scotland, However, parts of Western Scotland and the corner of South West England were slightly wetter. The wettest day saw 49.8 millimetres of rain at Tindrum, Perthshire, between the hours of 0900 on 28th and 0900 on the 1st of March. The deepest snow recorded this month was 21 centimetres at Aviemore in Invernessia on the 1st. The month was sunnier than average uh, for many areas with 111% of average hours of bright sunshine not exceptional for February, but contributing to the sunniest winter overall. A maximum wind gust of 77 miles per hour was recorded at Berryhead, Devon on the 13th. Now let's take a look at some of the weather that defined February. At the start of the month, snow was lying across Scotland and the higher ground of England and Wales, and the UK was under the influence of a cold northerly airstream and one of the coldest snaps of the winter. From the 5th, High pressure became established across the UK, bringing largely calm, dry weather. This sequence shows clear skies for many on the 9th, but low cloud building through to the 10th. Temperatures were close to average for the time of year, with some frosty nights and fog patches causing isolated disruption in places. It became more unsettled from the 13th. High winds affected parts of the country at times, and the coincidence of strong winds and high tides for Scotland on the 23rd and 24th raised some flood concerns. These late February storms brought heavy rain to Western Scotland, shown here in the radar imagery, with significant snowfall across higher ground. A frontal system brought further high winds, rain, sleet and snow for the last days of the month. This system saw a wind gust of 70 miles per hour recorded at Edinburgh Blackford Hill on the 28th, and 49.8 millimetres of rain at Tindrum, Perthshire, to see out what we might regard to have been a fairly typical February. For more information and statistics about UK climate, please visit the Met Office website shown below.